Weeks of the unrest on college campuses, the war between Israel and Hamas have many Jude Jewish students speaking out and they say they have been the target, at least some of them, of anti-Semitic rhetoric, even violence. Erie News Now, Washington DC correspondent Brendan Scanlon shares how some students are pushing federal lawmakers to bring accountability to college campuses nationwide. In recent weeks, pro-Palestinian protests have escalated, in some cases turning violent and turning welcoming inclusive university environments into the exact opposite, especially for many Jewish students. I have had physical altercations with people uh, spitting on us. It's quite disheartening. Now, students like Susan Radov are speaking up. A lot of my friends just don't feel safe on campus. And encouraging federal lawmakers to demand accountability from school leaders across the country. It's really frustrating to not have accountability um, for leadership and to not have enforcement. I fully support everyone's right to peacefully protest. Of course, nobody likes civilian casualties in war, but this has moved beyond peaceful civil protest to hate speech. Last week, the House passed the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act. Among other provisions, the bill would allow the government to pull federal dollars from schools or programs found to have a hostile environment for Jewish students. We have to make sure we have two things that are, are running concurrently here freedom of speech in a safe and secure environment aboard our college campuses. Representative Jack Bergman voted in favor of the bill. He says Congress has a duty to set an example for the entire country. So Congress's role is to set the tone so that hopefully the rest of the country will follow when it comes to abiding by our Constitution and especially the Bill of Rights. The Anti-Semitism Awareness Act awaits consideration by the Senate. Reporting in Washington, Brendan Scanland, Erie News Now. And protesters around the country are demanding their schools divest from any financial ties with Israel. Numerous encampments have been removed in recent days and hundreds of demonstrators have been arrested.